guys. How are you? Hello, hello. I just realized I needed a little more, a little more light here. All right. Well, we are ready to go. We are on day 11 of our, uh-oh. All my little pieces just fell all over the floor, but that's okay. We'll get that later. Um, so we are on uh, day 11. And if you guys remember yesterday, we did tags. So today we're going to kind of stick with that theme. We're doing a couple different size tags, a gift card holder. And then I want to show you <clears throat> we're gonna do a 3D project. And then I want to show you just a couple thank you notes. So we've done a lot of Christmas cards. But one thing I did want to show you are some of the cards that I have that were made from that um, festive pack because I want you to see how easy it is. Now, I got these at my team event uh, that I attend, so my upline um, who did these, and <clears throat> they're super cute. So this is the first one, and this piece comes in that... Uh, festive kit with all those cutouts so like this is a cutout um, and then this is some of the paper and then here's another one and you guys this is just a, a border this right here and then these are additional cutouts that um, you get and then it just has a little embellishment right there. But isn't that adorable? I mean, so easy. So if you're looking for Christmas cards that are fairly easy to do, this, this is your type of card. This is one of the cutouts. And then this right here is from another stamp set. But you could just stamp Christmas. You don't need to use the cutout if you didn't want to. And then this paper is in there as well. And then here is another one that's a wreath and a bow. And this one here, it, this right here is one of the cutouts. And this is the paper as well. I'm not going to spend too much time on these. Um, and then here's another one. This, These are all pieces from that set. And then this is just a piece of the, of the designer paper that comes in that pack. And then we just stamp a greeting. And again, your greeting can be anything. And then here's another one. This is like a... a um, a border and then this is a piece and then we just stamp Merry Christmas and then this right here this is a piece and this is a piece and we just laid those down and that was that I mean super easy so if you wanted to get some Christmas cards done that would be definitely the way to do it all right, where to start, where to start. So I think we're gonna start with our 3D project today. Now I went ahead and I have most of this um, cut out and scored so that I can show you. Now I got this from, I think it was the plaid poodle, I think. But I loved it, I thought it was such a great idea. So this is our 3D project. So let me give you the measurements. So this is a piece that comes from that, um, I need to know these names. Um, it's the one where they're, it, it's my, you give back. Um, it's my favorite. You'd think I'd know the name of it, right? So let me tell you, so this is 12 inches by six inches. So that it's a piece of designer series paper, 12 inches by six inches. Now on the short side, you are gonna score it at one and a quarter, and then flip it and do one and a quarter. Okay, so it's one and a quarter cup on both sides coming in. All right, and that's on the short side. Then on the long side, it's scored at three and three fourths, five and three fourths, nine and a half, and eleven and a half. All right. So those are all of your score marks. And again, remember to sign up um, for my mailing list because on Monday or Tuesday, I will send out all the measurements for all of these projects that we've created. So you're going to get something that has those measurements in it. But I like to tell you um, just so you can use the video as a reference. So what we're going to do is we're going um, to score these lines and then I'm going to show you what you need to cut. You probably can figure it out, right? Because... I, uh, 
I have those X's where we are going to cut. This is a super cute bag. Now it's not a, um, what I would say, a heavy bag. Like, I don't think I would put rocks in it, you know, but um, you could certainly put some little candy in there. It'd be adorable. I think people would love it. Okay, so the first one we're gonna cut, and I'm gonna cut on using this side, I, um, so I might have to flip it back and forth. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tab off of here, and then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna um, cut it just slightly at an angle there. And then I'm gonna go on this side, and I'm gonna cut these two up to that second score line. I'm just going to take that up, cut it up to the second score line, and then I'm going to cut right here. Okay, and again, just do slightly at an angle to remove any kind of um, bulk there. Then I'm going to cut these two pieces off. Now, I forgot my paper trimmer, which I hope I don't need it, but if I do... I'll have to make that dash to the other room. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and one day, you guys, I'm gonna have everything in the same place and that will be nice. One of these days, one of these days. I, uh, I hate to say, you know, I don't wanna envy other people, but it is. I'm a little envious for all those people that have those nice craft rooms. All right, so there we go. So this is what, um, these are the pieces we cut off. And then, oh, and let me go ahead and now and notch um, these pieces on this side. All right, so we have three of them that we are just going to cut is all. And I'm going to, again, um, it's a little easier to see on this side. And again, just a slight little notch. I probably should be doing that actually on the tab there. Not so much the other side. And then we'll do this one here. Just make sure I got that right. There we go. And again, we're just gonna go up to that first um, score line there. Okay, there we go. So this is what it's gonna it's gonna look like. Let me take out those notches just so you can see exactly kind of where those areas are that you're um, okay, there we go. Okay, so this is what your piece is gonna look like, okay? You're gonna have one one tab up here and the rest you're gonna cut up up to that first score line. Then on the opposite side, you're gonna cut the small triangle here and then you're just gonna cut the lines up for all the rest, okay? So that's the start of our, of our box or our little, our, our, kind of our little bag. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it together. So this is the top of our box and this is the bottom. So what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna first, let's first bring this tab is gonna lay right on top of this piece here. Oh, only I wanna show the stripes, sorry. Okay, that would have been bad. All right, that would not have gone with the theme of the box. All right, so right here, now you guys can use tear and tape. Um, I'm gonna use, go ahead and use liquid glue, just because, just because. Or if you have Stampin' Sue Plus, any of those will work here. I think I just got, oh yeah, okay. And then I'm just gonna layer that right down. Right down on that seam. So it fits perfectly. Um, you know, as a, you know, sometimes we have to kind of um, move things around a certain way and this I think is, um, is gonna work out very nicely. Okay. So now you can see right here, doo -doo -doo, this is kind of our, our, little, our little bag here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to take um, these tabs here and we are going to adhere them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck these two 
down in, but we are gonna add, I just wanna make sure I get those exactly right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some adhesive on these first. Okay, just add some adhesive. And then we're just gonna bring this down, our, our one flap, and I'm just gonna say, make sure you line up. So make sure this is in and this side is in, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some more adhesive, oops, uh-oh, too far. Uh, wait a second, let me get that off of there. I went a little too crazy because it's not going in that far, right? It's only going down just a lip. So we're just gonna take and put adhesive right along that edge, okay? And then we're just going to bring this over like that. And again, just make sure you get it lined up so that your nice little pouch here, bag, is good. All right, now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna use my bone folder to just kind of seal that down a little bit, okay? And that lets me, a little easier than taking your, trying to take your finger and putting it down there. Pretty easy, right? And then all we're gonna do is take this and just kind of bring those sides in just a tad, okay? Kind of squish them together just a little bit and then this, folds right down, just like that. I mean, it is that, isn't that simple? This is another great way to use up your designer series paper. So now what we're gonna do is we wanna create a little belly band for it. So our other pieces, so this piece, remember, was six inches by 12. This is just one and a quarter by 11. Then I have one of our die cuts um, in sparkly paper. Again, use any paper you want. And then I have some of the die cuts. So this was from our dies. This is from the festive pack, um, different pack of paper, sorry. So these are just some of the elements that were in there that we're gonna use to decorate. Cause I thought these go super well with this paper cause it looks like a candy cane. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we wanna take our piece of Card, uh, or cardstock here and we're going to start at the bottom and I am just going to make sure that's nice and straight and then I'm going to just bend that line in there a little bit again make sure I get a nice even line and I'm just going to go around so this is going to be a belly band so I want it to be tight but not like so tight that it can't slide on and off okay so I need to make sure that I'm able to slide it on and off and then there you go. So I'm gonna have to take just a tad bit off the end here. And then I'm going to just uh, seal it closed. So I'm gonna put this back on the bag and just make sure I have um, something that, oops, that can easily be uh, moved. So I'm just gonna test it here to slide. Yep. Okay, so what we're gonna do is leaving it there. Um, oops, there we go. So right here, I am just going to add some adhesive right on the back of this piece right here. So, you know, this would be cute too if you have like any um, kids over or something. I mean, it's such a small bag, right? But you could fill it with some, um, you know, Christmas candy or caramel corn, something like that. Um, you know, because it's not a lot, but it. I think the kids would just love it if you had a kind of a, a tray full of these little bags. And inside of it was just a little bit of, a little bit of popcorn or something fun that they could eat. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna decorate. So I'm gonna take this nice little shiny paper and then I want it to put, to kind of match our, uh, kind of our, um, our theme here, 
I was gonna do the gingerbread and a little piece of candy here. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some ribbon. And then I just have this little tag that I might put on there. So let's first grab some of this candy cane. It's not called candy cane. It's called real red and white baker's twine. But to me, it looks like a candy cane. So it really fits our nice little theme here. So I'm just gonna kind of double that up and then make sure it's long enough. And I'm just gonna feed it through this hole. And then we are just gonna um, add our items on this piece here. Oops, there we go. And we'll just tie a bow. And then, um, then we can add our, hopefully I made this long enough. Um, if not, that's all right. We'll just have some string and it'll, it'll just be down low. Okay, let me make sure we've got what we needed here. I think that looks good. I think that will do. Um, let me go ahead and cut the one, <clears throat> excuse me, the one um, loop off there. And then, yeah, okay. I think I have something a little crazy going on with this one here. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right, that'll work. <clears throat> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to adhere the little house here. We'll use some dimensionals to put our, put our house on. And then we'll take this piece here and we'll just kind of put it off to the side like that, okay? And we'll put a dimensional on it as well. You could, um, you could glue that down, but sometimes it's a little challenging, I think. And then we're gonna take some of our super cool little candies here and we will put these on um maybe we'll put uh, let's see maybe we'll just put a couple of them right here just on our get one of the big ones here too and maybe put one right there over that window perfect okay and now what we're gonna do, you guys, is we're actually gonna put this on dimensionals right on our, um, and let's see, I think we'll do three. And we're gonna put that right on the belly band. And we will just put that right down the middle there. And look at that. Is that not just adorable? Isn't it cute? Oh my, I wish you guys could see it. I mean, like, I guess you can see it, right? But like, actually see it, see it. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I can get this off of here. If not, um, you guys just need to make it a little less tight. But look at that, and this cute little inside of that bag. Fits all kinds of things. Now, um, the person that I got this from, they rounded the corners, but I just don't have a corner rounder right now. I had three, now I have none. I think our son took literally every single one I had. I think I told you guys that, but we'll just save that story for another time. All right, so let me grab this back on there. There we go. So I probably would loosen that up just a tad, but, it, but it's nice because it's nice and solid. All right, first project done. Um, some of them are going to go quicker than this one, just FYI. Okay, um, I have 
let's do our let's do our small ornament next all right so for our small ornament we are going to start with a piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by two and three fourths and it is scored on the long side at three and three fourths okay so it's eight and a half long by three and three fourths across and then it's scored at three and three fourths and then it's going to create like a little like a little folder here okay now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of that nice shimmery paper and we are going to adhere that to the front and this again is just such you know a fun way to make just another tag so you guys could take all these examples, and I think I said, invite your friends over, lay it all out in the center, and tell people, hey, here's some examples, have at it. And, you know, or even if you have older kids, like high schoolers, you know, I, I realize a lot of kids don't always craft, but, you know, there's fun. There's fun in it, right? We enjoy it. It's it's a fun thing to do. Okay, now I have a piece of white, and this is two and a half by um, three and a half. All right, and this is going to go inside. This is just for our our message. So why don't we, while we are here, um, okay, seriously, did I literally, okay, I, you know what I did? I, I forgot my stamp. Okay. Hold on. Forgot the stamp set. It's right out in the, <laughs> the room. Hold on one second, guys. I was so concerned about making sure that I remembered another um, stamp set we had that uh, I wanted to make sure I didn't forget that one. So I think we're going to put in here, uh, may your holiday season be filled with warmth and cheerful celebration. So that's kind of a longer one. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention this is pretty peacock paper. So I'm really, it's, it's a, such a pretty Christmas color which when you first look at it, you would never, never really guess. All right, so this is gonna fill up this little area here. Pretty, it's gonna be pretty, pretty full, but it'll give you a little space, you know, to write if you need to. So we're just gonna take this and again, remember this is a gift tag, um, not the, you know, the actual gift itself. Although you could, if you wanted to, as I was making this, I thought, you know, this would hold a gift card too. So you absolutely um, could use this as a gift card as well, a gift card um, holder if you wanted to. But we're making it a tag, just FYI. Okay, then on the outside, we are gonna put, um, uh, let's do um, for you. How about that? I think that will be, I think that will work. We just want something that's kind of small. All right. So I'm going to take this here and we will just put this kind of right down in the middle there. There we go. Okay, so now let's clean this stamp. Okay. Um, if I don't put these back right away, it is hard to say where they'll end up. No, tomorrow. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and adhere this piece right here in the middle, in the inside. So remember, our flap goes up. This is on the inside piece. You also could, if you wanted to, it fits very nicely down here. So either place that you wanna put it is, is totally fine. It'll fit either one, which is kind of nice. 
that way you only have to remember one uh, measurement but you can put it wherever you want now I will tell you when you put it at the top you're going to want to make sure you keep it toward uh, the bottom like toward the score line, you know, just like a regular border, because when this comes up, you don't want it showing necessarily up top here. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Yay. All right, now we're gonna do, um, I had one more little piece here. Let me make sure. Nope, that's all. Okay, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So we're gonna take this piece here and we want to, um, we, we need to put some uh, twine in there, okay? Because, again, it's a gift tag, so we need to adhere it. So first, we're going to grab some of this, um, I think this is copper. And I thought, truly, you know, I haven't used it yet. I've kind of been using the green. But it's out of the one that comes in these three colors, the natural tones, which I've heard, I don't know when it will happen, but when they rolled these out, everyone was like, okay, we need linen thread in every color. Well, I'm thinking that might be coming. Um, wouldn't that be cool? All right. That would be kind of nice. Now, you guys, as I've said now a hundred times, I don't have a hole punch anymore, so... I got to go get myself a little crocodile. I'm taking the sharp end of my take your pick tool and I am going to actually, I'm going to take this down just a tad because it doesn't need to be right on the line. And I'm just going to poke a hole right there and make sure that my finger is, look at that. It goes right through. This is like perfect. And then I am going to double this, I do believe. All right. I think that's enough. It doesn't need to be too crazy, right? Um, and so we'll do that. And I'm just gonna cut it. So you guys, I'm a, I'm, I'm a left-handed. And sometimes uh, if I cut with my scissors, they don't always work, but it looks like they did that time. So that's nice. All right, so I'm just going to feed these through here. And then I'm actually going to take this and, and reinforce it a couple different ways. So first, I'm just going to make a loop, you know, and then run it through like that. Um, but then I'm going to just tie a bow and tie or tie a knot and then tie a bow. So I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot here. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow. Like that. There we go. All right. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here and I am actually going to adhere this on some dimensionals. Now, before I do, you're going to notice these two little areas over here. I don't want really those to show. So what I'm going to do is I can kind of look right here and see where I need to trim them. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. Now there's nothing wrong. You guys literally could have them still show. So don't, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal, but I'm just going to go about where this is here to um, the point at the top like that. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to make sure that's nice and straight. And I'm just going to start there and go to where it's about the point and cut those two off. Our little die cut trick. I could have done that too, but I didn't do that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it up on some dimensionals right here. So this is my little string. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put those dimensionals right here and right there. And it might be that I don't actually need quite so quite so many. So let's see, put one here and one here, and that might actually be enough. 
And then I'm going to take this beautiful die cut. And this, again, came from that little package. And we are just going to center it. And I want it, um, I want it uh, kind of down enough to where it's covering this area. And it should fit fairly decently. And now what I can do is I'm going to take this, lift that up, and fold it right down. And that is my beautiful little tag there. And then I'm going to put some, I might need to see. Yeah, you know what else? I'm going to put one more just right underneath here. And that way it stays down just a little bit better. But what I um, what I don't want, what I wanted to make sure was that I can open this up. All right, so it's kind of a different, a neat, a little unique kind of tab. And then I can, this is also a bow. So again, you can either use this and put your piece of tape kind of across it to attach, or it can just lay like, lay like that. Okay, so I am going to add a few little rhinestones um, to this one. The other thing I thought if you guys wanted to, you could also take and um, go along the edges here with a blending brush. You could do that as well. So I'm just going to take some of these red um, oops, uh, dots that I have here, and I'm just going to more or less fill in where those red berries are. I would not do this to every card, just FYI, because that's a lot of, that's a lot of um, embellishments, but for this one, and again, I think when you have a lot of these, you know, you might want to get rid of some of them. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so there you go. That is tag. That's our big tag. Now, or I'm, I'm sorry, our small tag. Now we're going to go to our larger tag. Oops. All right. So let's put this one together. So now this one we used, um, I, I used the, the deckled circles. So you're going to need, you're going to need those. Um, and I brought the deckled circles in. I do believe so that I could show you guys um, the size so that you knew which ones, which ones to, um, to use. Okay, so the first, so you're gonna need two large circles. One is from that sparkly paper, and then the other one is just a piece of pretty peacock, and it uses the second largest um, circle from the set. And then, two, three, four, I think the small white one is the fifth circle. Yep, it's the fifth one. Okay, so the second one and the fifth one are the two that you're going to need to use. These are super handy. Um, there's a couple other cool things I want to show you guys that I've learned that you can use. So then I ran this piece of cardstock through the brick and um i think it's like distressed brick or i can't remember but if you type in brick um that's the that's the one and then i have this um cool looking uh circle and i'm gonna put the um the the gold side on the outside so it's really just to make our tag here look a lot more pretty all right then I have some die cuts that I got, again, out of that pack. And then I took our dies and I cut it out in gold foil and then I scored it right down the middle. So this is two inches and I scored it at one inch, okay? And then here's our, um, our white circle. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to first adhere our piece of white right in the middle here. Okay, and this is going to become <clears throat> where we stamp and, um, and write our greeting. So let's go ahead and we'll stamp our greeting first, just in case we mess up. So I think 
we will use um, It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. This has a lot of really um, nice sayings in it, you know, as far as just different ones. Uh, let's make sure I get this on straight here. All right. And again, we're going to use Pretty Peacock. So the goal of this is you guys could take these and kind of coordinate them, right? If you have, uh, and I'm just gonna put this kind of right, a little bit down, but for the most part in the middle. There we go. All right, and then, <clears throat> all right, uh, we'll just put that over there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and adhere our, our circle to the inside. Oops. All right, here we go. So we just kind of put that in the middle. There we go. And then we're going to take this piece here and we are going to adhere this wreath and this greenery. Now, if you notice, this wreath has a little flat spot, and it's almost like it was made for it, you guys. This fits almost perfectly right along that, and the little pine cone falls in the middle. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and adhere these two together first. So we'll just add a little adhesive here. And then we're just gonna layer those right on top of each other. And then we're gonna put it right here in the center. Now, um, this, because this is so, I, I hate to use the word flimsy, but that's what it's kind of, it's just so thin. I'm gonna just adhere it directly down. Um, my concern is if I put it on dimensionals, it may be, um, lumpy for lack of <laughs> lack of a better way to put it it'll just look a little on the lumpy side so i'm going to go ahead and just layer that right on my circle oops let me just make sure i get that in a nice place um i do want to leave a little room for this up top because we're going to use that to string our so now we can take both of these and layer them on top. So I want to make sure my circle is set there and it's um, it's straight. And then I'm going to make sure, sorry, let me just make sure. Yep, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this right over top here. And then I am going to uh, poke a hole, okay? And I'm gonna leave a little bit of space up top there. But my goal is I'm just gonna go ahead and punch a hole right through, right through this. Just get up just a little bit more there. Now I'm going through quite a few layers here. So let me get through that first one. And then I will pull this back down and make sure I get it through the piece of, um, yep, there we go. All right. So now what I can do is take it out and I can run through this piece here. There we go. So now I'm going to take a piece of this uh, twine and I'm going to run it through all these different layers here um, and then we're going to have this nice little gold piece at the top but then I'm also going to put in some other uh, ribbon as well and that's what I want to show you guys. this piece through here. Now 
Now, if you had a hole punch, um, obviously I would totally recommend that you use your hole punch because um, that's going to make it just much easier for you. Oops. So I have to get one of those. All right, there we go. Hello. All right. Now, um, hopefully that's going to get kind of covered up a little bit. So I'm not too, too concerned about, too concerned about that. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a little adhesive right in here um, so that I can glue this kind of gold part down. So right there, and that way I can adhere. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Just adhere using some glue. There we go. And now we have this nice little gold piece that we can hang our hang our tag on. So let me go ahead and cut this. And then we are going to add some other layers of ribbon here. So I'm just going to kind of tie a um, little bit of kind of um, a knot here. And then I am going to take um, some of this wild wheat, which I thought looked really pretty, and tie it kind of around. And you know what this looks like a little bit, you guys, is like a little Christmas bulb. Um, so I'm going to take some of this and cut it. And then I'm also going to take some of this um, clear. So again, just adding multiple ribbon so it gives us a little bit of um, kind of dimension to our to our nice our nice um, tag especially these really big tags I don't know I think it looks a little bit a little bit nicer all right so now this can go right on this um, silver piece or what we can do and this is what I wanted to show you is we're going to take it and actually run it right through because remember we um, adhered it but we didn't um, glue the top part down now we'll see if I can't get this fed through which is totally fine we'll just we'll just do it um We'll just go ahead and wrap it around it. Yeah. So I probably should have maybe put it around um, like earlier, but that's okay. We'll do it this way. And what we might do, let's do it this way. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we are going to tie them in a bow. And then we're just going to adhere it using a glue dot to our, to our large tag. And if you guys remember too, um, the other day, I just, or yesterday, I guess that was just yesterday, I um, stapled them. So you can do that too. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry about that. Let's go get those lined up again. There we go. So we're just going to take our two little rabbit ears here. And then we will tie those together. Oops. There we go. Oops. All right. Okay, so here we go. So now what we can do 
is we can just adhere that right to our tag right across the top. There we go. So let me grab a glue dot or two and we're gonna put it right there over top. And that will keep that nice and adhered. Now you guys might find, um, and I'm gonna add a couple glue dots, but uh, you know, if you find it might not be strong enough, you could um, use your tear and tape or something like that. And there we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love it. Now I'm going to trim a little bit of this off. I want it to be kind of flowing, but maybe not quite that much. And then this piece here, um, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to tie this into a bow as well. And that's going to give it a little bit more. There you go, a little bit more color. All right, you guys will have to tell me what you think about this one. And again, I think we'll add a little bit of sparkle to this. So here we're gonna use um, just some gems. I think these are gonna be the rhinestones. I think we'll just put a couple of these in various places around. Almost looks a little bit like icicles, right? If we wanted to but we'll just put three or four around there. There we go. And that is it. So now they can open this up easily or, you know, and you can write in here and that makes a beautiful big gift tag right there for you. And again, um, probably a little bit easier, right? Run it through twice, stick those on, tie a bow on it, and you're good to go. I like the idea you can use those dies to make these like kind of clips, though. I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, now one of the things I mentioned that we wanted to make were some thank you notes, right? We have Christmas, and uh, we write thank you notes to people for the gifts that we give. I just want to show you, these are note cards, and these are the memories and more cards. I just wanted to show you how easily you can make some um, thank you notes. And I think I have three here. Yeah, just three. So we're going to do these. And then I have one more project to share with you. So again, these are thank you notes. So we are going to be using the Simply Said stamp set. And I'm just going to use thanks or thank you or hello. Um you might want to use these for birthday cards. You know, a lot of times people who have birthdays at Christmas, they sometimes get, you know, not, they certainly are not forgotten, but sometimes their birthday kind of comes and goes and, um, you know, and, and just people, uh, you know, just get caught up in the holiday, which is totally makes sense. Okay, so what we're going to do um, is we are going to stamp thanks at the toward the top so it still has a little bit of a christmas theme to it but um you know it's just a nice simple simple thank you note so we're just going to adhere this down oops and again if you have some of these pieces left over this is a great way to use it. Now I'm putting it a little bit closer to the top here um, because I'm going to take one of the embellishment pieces from that set that we have. And I am just gonna put it right down there. So you can almost looks like we're hauling the Christmas tree to the junkyard. I don't know, however you wanna do it. But there you have it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just, and actually I think I'm gonna put this up on dimensionals here because um, that will give our, our small simple card some uh, little, bit of, little bit of dimension there. So again, this is obviously nothing fantastic, but I think it's a very adorable card and it is just super, 
easy to make and you know and who just doesn't want to be thanked for you know the gift that um you know when you give somebody something you know people just so oops i think i have i do not have two of them those i forgot how strong and how thick those thank you notes are you guys those are those are nice though they really are they are nice thick cardstock all right there we go so that that is it that is a nice quick easy card that you can then turn around and send someone so i'm going to put that there let me go over to the next one here is one but it says winter blessings well what we're going to do is we're going to cover up winter blessings with a piece of that gold and then we're going to stamp hello or thanks right here on this little on this little guy so let's go ahead and adhere and I love this winter blessings. I like I like it, but we're gonna we're gonna cover right over top of it. Okay. And again, this fits perfectly right over top. This is a half inch. So again, we're just gonna make sure we're not showing any of the words. Take this piece here. Let's see if thanks. Oh, it does, it fits perfectly on there. So we'll just do the same same thing. Let me put that up there so you guys. And I'm gonna get it over as far as I can. There we go. Because we'll take our little spot there and we will cover that up with a gem. Now you guys could cover that up with a piece of ribbon too. You know, I don't I haven't been doing that much. Um but you absolutely could do a piece of, of ribbon. All right, so there we go. Um, I don't think I have the, I would probably put a little snowflake there, but you know what? One of these rhinestones is gonna be perfect to fit right over top of that, um, that hole there. I think maybe not. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I think that's fine. It's like perfect size. All right, and now we're going to put this right on our card. And again, you could even pop this up on dimensionals. You could add layers if you wanted to. Um, which who knows? Let me see when I get this on here. Uh, if we want to add anything else to it, we have all these gorgeous stickers that we can use too. So let's see if we see something that maybe we want to add to our card. I'm just realizing that our piece of gold there is extremely, it looks very crooked, doesn't it? Oh, yikes. Okay, that's all right. We'll figure that one out later. All right, we'll just make sure we get our card here nice and straight. And then um, let's see if I can quickly fix this. Why not? I think we can. I know you, uh, if you guys are seeing, oops, well, we don't want to rip too much of that off there. Okay. All right. Well, this is great because I will be able to show you guys how to fix, how to fix a crooked, a crooked tab. All right. I'm actually going to glue this back down and make it straight, hopefully. Um, so let me put that down and see if I can get it so that it is straight this time it is a little bit bent there we go all right and I think my little gem is not working either but that's okay so we're gonna find something that's a little bigger and then Actually, you know what, you guys? That might have all worked out just perfectly. All right. So you know what? I think we're going to take this little cardinal bird 
and we're going to put him right there. Look at that. And I'm going to put a mini dimensional right underneath it so it stays um, even with the, the rest of the card. And that will be absolutely perfect. Look at that. There we go. Much, much better. Ah, I like it. Okay, so we're going to turn this down, make sure we get our card lined up, and we will put this down right there like that. All right. And there you go. There's our second card. All right. Um, let me, I, I have one more here. Um, let me just uh, show you. We're just going to put this one down here, and I was going to add... Um, like a tree or candy canes to our to our signage here, just so you guys can see how you can use these stickers to make it look um, a little bit a little bit better. So I think what we'll do is maybe use the greenery there, uh, but we're just gonna we're just gonna stamp a message and then um, and again we want it we wanted it to be like thank you um, because that's what these these cards are all about. So um, I think we'll do just a note. And I'm just going to stick with green because it's what I have opened. And we'll do just a note kind of off to the side. And then we're going to adhere this. This is the other side of our of our memories and more. So if you just think, if you pull out a stack of these note cards, these small cards fit just perfectly right on, right on these, um, these note cards here. Okay. And then we're gonna take this right here and we will um, we're going to put this up on some dimensionals just to give it, since it's pretty, um, plain, I would say, right? Uh, but we're going to add some other, other things to it. So we're just going to put that right there in the center. And then I think, I think we might add this tree. I really like that. I think that looks just beautiful, just like that. So now because this is up on dimensionals, we just need to take the back and put a mini dimensional underneath there. So we're gonna put a mini dimensional uh, up here and just get that stuck down and we're going to do the same thing on the bottom there we go and that is it i mean we'll we'll add a couple little um let's add a few of our peppermints because these are just so stinking cute so we'll just add a couple of these And we'll do one more, maybe right there. There we go. All right, you guys, that is our third note card. So these are going to be wonderful. So now I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I have three, three note cards that I can then turn around and send um, to folks after uh, you get a gift or just to thank you for stopping by, whatever the case may be. All right, we have one more item to make um, and then we are done. All right, so here we go. So we've done our large tag, our small tag, our 3D item. I showed you guys a couple cards this time because I did say I wanted to show you some thank you notes. And now we are going to be um, doing our gift card holder. 
So let's get started with that. So we're going to start with a piece of four and a quarter by 11, and it is scored at three and three fourths and nine. Oops, three and three fourths and nine and three fourths. All right. Um, this is one of my favorite um, <laughs> gift card holders. I just love it. Um, it's kind of just, it's fun, I think. Um, so the other pieces you need, then you're going to need a piece that's three and a half by seven. And this is scored at a half inch. And, um, and then you're going to flip it around. And, um, oh, I'm sorry. No, you're going to, it's a half inch and five inches. Sorry, I don't know why I said flip it around. Um, so it's scored at a half inch and then five inches. Then you have um, a piece of basic white, and that measures four inches by two and three fourths. Then we have a piece for the front of our card that is four inches by three and a half. Then we have a piece for the bottom portion of our card, and that is four inches by one and a half. And then inside, we have another piece that's three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and a piece that is three and a quarter by one and a quarter. So lots of, uh, oops, I keep dropping, uh, keep dropping my glue. Okay, so here we go. So let's put it together. So this is the front of our card. So we're gonna go ahead and take our piece of designer series paper and put it on this piece right here. This paper, guys, look at, isn't it? It's, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. By the way, this is Pretty Peacock and this is um, Balmy Blue. And Pretty Peacock is listed at a as a color in the stack. Um, Balmy Blue, I don't think is. Um, but it seems to coordinate extremely well. I, I um, kind of held them up and was looking at the different, different um, colors and it really, really looked, looked nice. Okay, and then this piece here is gonna go right down at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and use the opposite side. I debated because I love the Christmas tree side. But um, anyhow. So you'll have to tell me, you guys, um, in the comments what your favorite project is. And two, what are your favorite if you have a favorite set that we've been that we've used, um, I'm loving these tags. I will say, I really do. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and burnish these two lines here, and then I'm going to go ahead and this part right here is going to fold down. All right, so we are going to go ahead and put our piece of designer paper right on this right here. And you'll notice you have a lot more space. So our designer paper should go toward the top. So all the borders, of course, are equal. So it doesn't need to be right up against anything. We just wanna make sure you ha just know that you have that extra space at the bottom. All right, and we're gonna add this right there. So let me put that down. And line this up right here. So again, I'm just looking to make sure the top and the sides are all equal. Okay. And then we're going to take this bottom piece and, um, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, so here we go. So part of our our, um, our, uh, no, this is right. I'm sorry. This, this is right. So, um, this piece is going to go up like this. Okay. And this piece is going to go on here. Nope. I have that wrong. I'm sorry. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, this piece goes here. Oh, yikes. Okay, so um, 
this piece is also going to have space at the bottom. That's what keeps throwing me off, you guys, is there's um, space at the bottom, and normally, right, we fill it up. So there we go. That goes right here. All of a sudden, I was getting my pieces um, confused. All right, so you have this flap here. So you put your inside piece here and then this piece down below. All right. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Um, I needed to glue it on this side and I didn't. I glued it on the inside. That's why I was confused. Okay, that's all right. We're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is now we are going to adhere or put adhesive along this side here. We'll just have a pretty little piece of paper inside. We'll know it's there. Nobody else will, but we will. All right, and now we're just gonna fold that right up and just press down those two sides like that. There we go. All right. Okay, so we have, so now what we've created, right, is our little pocket right here for our card, for our gift card is right in there. Okay, oops, let me put that back down. All right. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move back over here, and this is our piece of white for our message, All right? So we're going to go ahead and just adhere that, again, more toward the top. And that way that piece will be done. And then we're going to be ready to put our card together. This is such a, um, I think this is such a simple uh, simple gift card holder and you could use if you wanted designer series paper for the inside to make it you know just pretty all the way around and that would um, also save you some time so this is what we do now so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of lay this in the middle okay and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to fold this down like that all right but we're going to adhere we're going to put adhesive so we're going to put it right up against that score line, okay? And we're going to add our adhesive right here. Oops. And we're going to want to make sure we have that pretty, you know, we don't want it to go, you know, oozing out the sides or anything. Okay, but we're going to want to make sure it's in the center, all right? And I'm just going to kind of push it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to close it. Just make sure it's down there. And I'm just gonna push that down. And now you'll see how this piece, see how it's like connected to the side there? You see that? All right, so now comes the magic part. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little flap and we are going to put adhesive down the sides, just the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And then we are going to fold this over. I'm gonna kind of move that one, well, I'll move it down too. And we're just gonna add adhesive on those two sides And then, now to decorate the front, as much as I don't really want to put anything over this absolutely beautiful, oh, you know what? I was going to do it down here. That's right. I was going to leave that beautiful paper just like it is. Okay, and then we're going to put our, so we'll put our sentiment out here. But let me show you what happens now. So now when I open it up, look at that. Ah, and see, it's kind of like stuck in there. And then this is where your gift card goes. Isn't that just, I just love it. I think it's so cool. Now it can pop out, but you gotta like take it, you gotta like take it physically out. It won't pop out on its own. And obviously now I need to put another piece of card, piece of paper there because then it will like match this one as it comes up. But I just, isn't that cool? It's just so cool. I love it, I love it. Okay, so just to finish it off, 
um, I'm gonna take one of our uh, die cuts here and kind of put it at the bottom and then put our sentiment on this one, on this piece of paper here. So for this one, um, I think we'll use uh, Merry Christmas here in, um, in the fancy, the fancy writing. Um, so let me find those. And again, I think we'll use the pretty peacock um, because that's kind of the colors that we have here. So we're gonna stamp Mary and then we'll stamp, I think I can fit both of them in here. We'll see. Oh, no, I don't know, you guys. Hmm. You know, I don't think it's gonna fit. Let's see. Um, that's okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do Mary Mary. Mary Mary. Let's do that. Let's do Mary. Mary. Look at that. That's what we'll do. Mary Mary twice. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and just adhere this piece right to here. And then we can just put it right on our bottom of our card here. And again, I think we'll just put this on some dimensionals. Add a few embellishments. And that is that. And look at that. Okay, and let's see what we want to use for an embellishment for this one. I'm looking to see if I have. I've got many, many, many over here. Um, you know, these have a nice little, nice glisten to them, and they're very flat. Let's see if there's something in here that maybe we say we might like. I don't know. Um, hmm. Okay, you know what? We're just going to stick with our rhinestones for now. It's very plain Jane, but that's what we're going to use. We'll just use some rhinestones here. Okay. And again, we'll just add a couple. I should say a few, right? Oops. There we go. And do one more. There we go. All right. So there you have it, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you can see how it kind of stands up. So there we go. And that's the other thing. When you take it out, it's like, it, it just, it's like a, it reminds me of, um, like it's on like little pistons, <laughs> little air pistons. All right. So there you go. So let me bring in all of our projects. So there is our large tag. Here is our small tag that opens up, if you guys remember. Um, and that just folds right down. And then we have our nice little gift bag that we made. Um, put that down there if you guys can see it. And then of course just some very quick um, thank you notes as well. So um, so we did a lot, a lot more um, today. So tomorrow is our last day. So I hope you guys um, uh, like this video, share it with your friends, be sure to subscribe. And if you didn't sign up for the mailing list yet, be sure you do that so that you can get the 
uh, recipe cards for these items. If you've already done that, then you are you are golden. You will get that on Monday or Tuesday of this week, and this will be the end. Um, tomorrow we have you know more projects related to tags, gift card holders, and of course a three D project. And then next week, I think I'm going to wrap it all up. I have about 50 to 75 card swaps that um, I want to share with all of you. But we'll, uh, we'll figure that one out as we go. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great evening and a good day tomorrow until we see you tomorrow night. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.